Welcome to this channel. In this video, we're going to be comparing Mid Journey versus Stable Diffusion versus Leonardo AI. You may have heard of Stable Diffusion and Mid Journey, but Leonardo AI is relatively new and is generating crazy beautiful images. I think it has done better than Mid Journey in certain aspects. So I just wanted to kind of, you know, create a video to compare the output. We'll be testing it across 10 prompts across different domains, right? So there'll be one that will be imaginative, second, where we look at people, third, uh, maybe animals, fourth, scenery, etc. Let's get right into it. A powerful figure stands tall, combining the strength and abilities of all the greatest superheroes and one being. And this will be across all three, Mid Journey, Stable Diffusion, and Leonardo here. Let's try it. If you look at Mid Journey, it's done some fantastic job. Uh, this one looks great. Looks like it's a combination of Superman, Batman and a bunch of different superheroes there. Uh, you can see this figure also looks like, looks more like a Superman. This has the element of Batman. But this one, the first generation looks super cool. Stable Diffusion has not done a great job. It's generated one image of a super, you can see the S itself is not too good. So it's very raw in that sense uh, and this time it's generated one image moving forward will generate like images in batch of two or four finally if you look at leonardo AI, yeah, it's kind of done a decent job maybe i want to change the model to let me generate one more on uh, leonardo using a different model and let's see the kind of output output we get we have currently used the leonardo creator I'm going to try and use Leonardo 1.1. Let's try it and see the kind of image you can generate. And while it looks way better than the previous generation, you can see this one kind of looks like a combination of different superheroes where there's a Superman cape, but there's a Batman like mask. There's a city in the background. If I had to rate it from the creative standpoint, I think Mid Journey has done a great job on this one. Next prompt. I want to test on neon lit city landscape of towering scrapers, uh, skyscraper and flying cars illuminated by a full moon. So Mid Journey has done a fantastic job as usual. I can see skyscrapers, I can see some flying uh, UFOs sort of thing and then there is a moon in the background, right? Not all of the images are perfect but some of these images look really great. Plus this whole image looks more cartoonish. Now, if you look at Stable Diffusion, Stable Diffusion has, uh, to be honest, done an impressive job. Uh, while it's not as good as um, Mid Journey, it still looks realistic in that sense, right? So, towering skyscrapers. The only thing that's missing here is a flying car. Plus, this looks more like a sun. So, and let's finally look at Leonardo, and I think this has done the best job here. You can see there's a neon lighting, there's something flying. There are two moons. Uh, then on this one, there's a flying car, there's neon lighting, towering skyscrapers, and there's a full moon. So I think this time, Leonardo, uh, and I'm checking primarily from the standpoint of prompts, Leonardo may have done a better job here. So I'm just gonna say this one, this one round goes to Leonardo. Stick app interface with sleek metallic design and glowing neon axis. This is what Mid Journey generated. And I don't think this is what I was kind of expecting. As a, so what, what I wanted to see is like an app design, like a wireframe design of an app that is more neonish in nature. nature. It, let's look at Stable Diffusion. Looks like Stable Diffusion has done a decent job, but it was not able to fine tune the final image. But you can see it understood that this is an app and it kind of gave it the neonish uh, layers, etc. But, and finally, if you look at Leonardo, it's done a decent job here, right? So I can see some design. Obviously, this is not usable, uh, but it understood what we were trying to ask the uh, model itself. And while none of these outputs are, are as impressive, I'm going to give this one to Leonardo AI. All right, so we'll try a vast star-filled sky illuminated by a distant nebula with a mysterious spacecraft hovering in the foreground. This is the next prompt. I will try. Let's start with Mid Journey. It looks like Mid Journey has done a recent job here where, uh, you know, it's kind of created a dark hole of sorts, a black hole of sorts, and then there is. But I don't see spacecraft in both of these. I see a spacecraft here in this image and a mysterious spacecraft here. So I think this is a better generation, but the nebula is not as clear. Now, if I look at the stable diffusion generation, it's Looks like it's just the, done the incomplete job here where 
was trying to generate a space ship here, but it wasn't even able to complete the nebula. Look at Leonardo here. Yeah? There is uh, spaceships in three of the images. There's nebula in the background, and I think this is again this one on this one too. I think Leonardo has done um, a decent job. So I'm just gonna take. I'm just gonna give another point to Leonardo for this generation. What we'll do is a skeletal figure shrouded in dark cloak, standing atop a pile of wounds and skulls. Let's try it. So I'm gonna let you guys decide this one, right? Because uh, three of the images, the skeleton is not standing. The fourth one, I can see it's standing, and the generation is good, but I don't clearly see the bones. Uh, I can see the bone of the skeleton, but I don't see bones here at all. But if you look at stable diffusion generation, I think it's done a pre pretty decent job here. Again, the same problem, while this looks more scary, I still only see the uh, skull here, but not necessarily bones. Leonardo AI yeah, did a decent job, but it seems it made it too realistic. So there is no element of scale. It looks like very basic generation, to be honest. So I'm, I think I'm going to give this one to stable diffusion because it's kind of made it more scary, but also aligned with what we want to see in the prompt per se. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm, I'm just going to move on to the next prompt now. All right, so next what we'll look at is a, a cute generation, right? So whimsical cartoon style illustration of a smiling fluffy bunny with a big round eyes. Let's start. So this is what Mid Journey generated and I think this looks pretty nice. The goal was to generate an image that is cute in nature and more cartoonish, right? I like the generations that have been done by Mid Journey. Now, if I look at the generations done by Stable Diffusion, I don't think this evokes any feeling. Before we look at the final Leonardo's output, quick overview of the scoreboard. Leonardo is leading with three points and Mid Journey and Stable Diffusion are, have one point each. So this is what the generation, so this is what Leonardo has generated. And I think the fact that there are two faces makes it more scary than cute. These two are cute but i don't see round big eyes just gonna go ahead and give this to mid journey and i'm gonna try the next prompt which is a lush vibrant forest with the winding path of sun dappled leaves and trickling stream so more of a nature generation i personally like the generations by mid journey here a lot because it's taken care of how the lighting is placed in the image across the stream it's all three generation generations especially this one looks great now this is the generation done by stable diffusion i don't think it's gotten enough time to generate the whole uh, sunlight bit but i think it's tried to do what it could now finally leonardo has done really beautiful generations too it's added the element of trees while there are trees here i don't necessarily see sunlight personally i think this personally i like this image a lot and i think for this round itself, I'm going to give this to Mid Journey. A mysterious lady in a long dark cloak standing in a misty forest surrounded by ancient trees. I think personally Mid Journey has done a great job with this as well. See that there are ancient trees, there is a lady walking through the forest itself. The, you know, the environment itself is more ghoulish and dark. Uh, if you look at stable diffusion generation, it's very basic. So it's not adding the element of error uh, compared to what Mid Journey is doing. Finally, if we look at Leonardo and the current scores are three mid journey, one stable diffusion and three Leonardo. If you look at the generations done by Leonardo, I think these are fine. These are a bit more realistic in that sense. Mid journey has done a fine job here. So I'm just going to give this to mid journey for this time around. Let's try the next prompt. This is a desolate landscape of crumbling ruins. The remains of a once thriving civilization now reduced to dust. So if you talk about beauty, obviously Mid Journey has done a great job. But if you remember our prompt, we asked for the civilization, right? And this specifically talks about one building from the whole civilization. So in that sense, it's not generated the accurate output. If you look at stable diffusion, it's kind of tried to put together a whole fort structure where it's now desolate. So I think I like this generation, but let's look at what Leonardo has done. So Leonardo has obviously gone ahead and created the whole civilization structure. And I think I like this generation better than both of Mid Journey and Stable Diffusion. So I'm just going to give this to the next and the final prompt that we're going to be looking at is a man vibrant technicolor dreamscape surrounded by surreal shapes and colors. 
Now remember the current score is 4 with mid journey, 1 with stable diffusion and 4 with Leonardo AI. So this could very well be the point that it really decides who does better when it comes to mid journey versus Leonardo. So let's take a look. This is the output generated by stable diffusion and now let's look at the mid journey generation. I think it looks fantastic. It is not correctly generated. It looks blurry. This one is also not very clear. So and let's look at finally uh, the Leonardo AI generation. Okay, these two are similar in some sense, right? Honestly, this is very hard uh, because both of these look great. I think personally, I like this one a lot because it's most aligns with the prompt. So in this case, I'm going to give this to Mid Journey, and it looks like the point table is five for Mid Journey, one for Stable Diffusion, and four for Leonardo AI. And obviously, there are different benefits of using Leonardo AI versus uh, Mid Journey. You saw certain images work really great, especially this one. So if you're looking for game landscape generation or if you're looking for say more creative space-based generation or more of wireframes or mockups or landscapes then i think leonardo does way better job than either mid journey or stable diffusion obviously stable diffusion is just a base model for both of these and i just wanted to kind of run through all three of them to understand you know which model among the mid journey and the leonardo is fine-tuned better for the outputs and I hope I was able to give that perspective to you through the video itself. If you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like on this video, share this across with a friend and I'll see you guys in the next one.